Louise, I mean, I think the media role in this is fascinating. We saw immediately in the aftermath of this hospital getting uh, bombed the other day that mainstream media, from the BBC in the UK to the New York Times here, rushing to say pretty well this was is an Israel airstrike. It now looks increasingly likely, not definitive, but increasingly likely it wasn't. It was almost certainly a group inside uh, Gaza who were firing at Israel. Yeah, I think it's as definitive as you can get. President Biden said he has this exquisite intelligence from the Department of Defence. But as you rightly say, these aren't influencers and bloggers. Mm. These are supposedly blue-chip news organisations that we are supposed to trust. CNN, the BBC, the New York Times. And what happens? They just want to be first. So, if anything, I think the bias is entirely in the other direction. All we had was the fig leaf of the Palestinian Health Authority, which mm. is, by the way, entirely controlled by Hamas, says this. That's not good enough. It's better to wait, to let the facts emerge. For example, all they needed to do with a hospital was just wait until the sun came up. Then they would have seen that, as a matter of fact, it wasn't bombed or hit at all. I mean, Dan, all. media is, is a fantastic uh, site. I look at it all the time when you come to the UK, obviously. It, it's The fog of war has come to the media now in a yep. way we've never seen. I mean, the amount of disinformation, fake videos edited clips, so on, that is everywhere. It's so hard to get to the but, truth. But this is why Louise's point is important, which is that means the obligation on the top-end media entities is even higher, right, because of everything that's out there. I mean, even look at the numbers that are cited, right? Mm. X number of Palestinians... Where's that coming from? Mm. From the Palestinian Health Ministry. From Hamas. Right, from Hamas, that Hamas. combines, even if you take their numbers at face value, people who die with people who are killed, et cetera. Now, again, getting into the minutia of the numbers, I don't think it's particularly useful. But there is way too much treatment in the United States media, and I think to some degree in the British media, of treating Hamas like an equal partner when it comes to gathering information. Well, the Palestinian health ministry says. I mean, it seems to me, I've got to say, yeah. I, most people I talk to, Rob, think Hamas should go, right? That they have become, because of this unbelievably red line crossing terror attack mm -hmm. on October the 7th, they, it's simply unthinkable they continue to rule the roost in Gaza. The question becomes, how do you get rid of them? From a military perspective, is it the smart play by Israel to go in as a ground invasion? Or is the smarter play to have a load of people like you, special forces, highly trained, going in and picking them off in smaller groups. Well, I mean, the unfortunate truth is if you want to get to the to the end game and cutting off the head of the snake, as they say, it's in Iran. And so you need to get rid of the, the funding from there, because Iran's proven they don't even care if it's Hamas, Hezbollah... But that escalates it into a potential I know it does. world it's, it's, it's terrible, too. And that's... Uh, the lead, like so I said, clearly in Gaza, if you were trying to get rid well, of you Hamas... Well, you need to crush Hamas, no doubt about it. And, and well, my, what's the best way to do that? The best... Well, I mean, the best way is, is uh, if it didn't start in the first place, but there's been a war there since, you know, biblical mm -hmm. times. Um, um, the, the best way to get rid of it in the long term is to stop teaching kids to hate each other. Mm -hmm. That's that's the, 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 the first way. The second way is you, you have to go in there and hit them as hard as you can and basically wipe them Hamas out. Unfortunately... In a ground invasion. Yeah, it has to happen. It, I mean, they've tried it before. They've tried it... Uh, Hamas right now is not interested in the two-state solution. Uh, so you, no, no, I don't, they're interested in killing as many Jewish people yeah. as they can possibly and, um, kill. Unfortunately, it's all the, the innocent lives that are getting lost. There's got to be a better way around it, but right now it's bombs and bullets.